Hello and welcome to Show of the Week with Outside Xbox, that's us. Ever since we got back from E3, I've been trying to get a certain 80s cartoon theme song out of my head. Life is like a hurricane in, in Duckburg. DuckTales? Oh, damn it! That was my holy three. Did it danger watch behind you? Like a hurricane in Duckburg. Are we ready? Wait, what was that giant robot? Uh, that, Mike, was a Titan from Titanfall. Titanfall? Please count me on you. Go, go, go! Titanfall. As in, when a giant robot mech suit drops out of the sky and lands on the battlefield. Also, as in the debut game from Respawn Entertainment, the guys and gals who splintered away from Infinity Ward after Modern Warfare 2. Also, also as in the Xbox One's most high-profile console-exclusive title and the drop-the-mic ending to the Microsoft D3 conference. It feels really great to be back on this stage and finally sharing with you Titanfall. Titanfall is a sci-fi first-person shooter where giant mechanised suits wade through swarming armies of tiny fleshy humans. It's a game of scale. Everything seems normal when you're a soldier, but strap yourself into a titan and suddenly you're clomping around the multiplayer equivalent of a provincial model village. These aren't lumbering metal beasts either. Titans look hefty, but they move deceptively quickly, strafing around and hammering each other with chunky weaponry. No pew pew laser guns here, just bullets the size of a 12 year old and a nifty gravity gun style attachment. They can also be switched to autopilot mode, either following you around like an obedient, heavily armed Labrador, or standing guard to help you hold hard points and the like. Okay, your Titan's prep for launch. Call it when ready. Don't worry though, they're not just invincible murdering machines. As a soldier on foot, you'll have the advantage of far better agility thanks to a jump pack and the ability to wall run. Manage to clamber onto the back of an enemy Titan and you'll be able to pump bullets into its vitals. Titans are powerful, but not all powerful. And because this is from the guys behind COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, expect a system of perks, XP and weapon loadouts to feature. We're anticipating a meticulously fettled multiplayer mode designed specifically to take a chunk out of Call of Duty's audience. After the whole Activision lawsuit thing, there are old scores to be settled. Oh, and if you're not yet sold on the Xbox One, even in the wake of the U-turn on selling and lending games, there'll be a version of Titanfall coming to the Xbox 360 as well, minus whatever cloud features Respawn are using. Using our mystical powers of prediction, we reckon it'll look like this, but with worse lighting and lower res textures. So there you go, Titanfall, the game with the Titans in, that fall to Earth. I'm going to make them pay. Right, now I remember. Yeah, uh, have you seen Andy, by the way? Last I heard, he'd taken all his coins and put them in a swimming pool so he could swim around like Scrooge and McDuck, but he had like a dollar fourteen change, so I'm worried. Oh, he's fine. He's in the kitchen. No apparent spinal injuries. Oh, good, okay. Da danger, mother f Hey, how are you going? Yeah, good. Wait, no, the opposite of good. After E3, I'm an emotional and physical wreck. Oh, well, what you need, Andy, is a giant robot suit, but for games journalism. No, we tried that, remember? We had to scrap it when it went haywire and brutalised Peter Molyneux. Oh, yeah, and then it gave Bioshock Infinite 4 out of 10. How did we stop it again? Giant robot suits could not be hotter right now. Between the Titans of Titanfall and the supersized mechs of Pacific Rim, we predict these enormous mechanical onesies are the wardrobe essential for next season. But for when the robot does a Skynet and turns on you or is stolen by your many enemies, you'll need to know how to shut its butt down. So keep these tips for stopping a giant mechanical man in a back pocket. Fallout 3's Liberty Prime is the most patriotic giant armored robot bar none. Embrace democracy, or you will be eradicated. To the power of his belief in America, Liberty Prime adds the power of his deadly eye beams and the power of his mini nukes, which he can throw like American footballs. Death is a preferable alternative to communism. Initiate Directive 7395. Destroy all communists. 
Should you ever need to take him down because you're a communist or whatever, then your options are few. The only surefire solution? Make like Ripley and nuke it from orbit. One orbital strike, please. Atlas is a heavy mech made by Cerberus, the pro-human militia that raises you from the dead in Mass Effect 2 and wants to send you back there in Mass Effect 3. Shepard, put him in the, ground. the Atlas has a rocket launcher, a mass accelerator cannon and a mighty robotic claw arm and is steered by the finest mech pilots Cerberus can recruit. In fact, the Atlas's only weakness is… yes, the flimsy glass panel behind which the pilot has to sit. The design specs say it's synthetic sapphire, not glass, but it still smashes real good. Hey, elusive man, pay the extra, get the bulletproof synthetic sapphire next time. I must say, I do enjoy watching mechs explode. Welcome back, soldier. Glad to see the medics managed to patch you up. All right, for this one, you're going to need to be inside the bipedal robot, as with Steel Battalion Heavy Armor's vertical tank. Once in there, look for the big, friendly red button. That's the self destruct. And finally, the self-destruct button. This really is a last resort, but we can't have our VTs end up in the wrong hands, so don't press that unless… Unless you need to blow up the mech, got it. And unlike with Steel Battalion's flaky connect controls, you shouldn't have to whack it more than once. Just make like this guy, he knows what he's doing. Oh, Jesus! Metal Gear Rex is the walking nuclear battle tank from Metal Gear Solid. Watch out, because besides the twin rotary cannons, the anti-tank missiles and the magnetic railgun for firing nuclear warheads, it's got a laser that'll take your arm right off. Your best bet here is a barrage of stinger missiles and also being Solid Snake. Aim for its targeting system and mind you don't get squashed. Of course, it could be that the armoured mech suit you're fighting is the presidential power armour of the President of the United States, as used by President Michael Wilson in cult Japanese game Metal Wolf Chaos. Mr. President, it looks like this party is just getting started. In this case, all you have to do is get the President impeached so he doesn't have access to his giant suit of mech armour anymore. According to the US Constitution, the President can be impeached for treason, bribery or other high crimes and misdemeanours. Something like him somersaulting out of the exploding White House screaming let's party would probably do it. Okay, let's party! There we go. Welcome to the White House. Now it's time to see what you've been saying on the site, on social media and burying in time capsules in the past for us to dig up a hundred years in the future. In answer to your question, yes we do think video games will be invented someday, but you'll probably have to wait about 60 years, so bad luck. First up, they announced a new Trials game at E3 last week called Trials Fusion, but it wasn't the bikes that caught Cyber Insect's eye. He says, that's the single most phallic skyscraper I've ever seen at 59 seconds. Sadly though, it's not even close to the most phallic thing we've seen on a Trials track, thanks to Mike's hard work in the track editor. Every track the same. Next up on our video comparing the Xbox One controller and the Xbox 360 controller, the failure of the week says, I am not concerned about the DRM or the Kinect spying. Why the hell would Microsoft even be spying on me to begin with? Marts172 replies, Are you serious? You don't know why they would? Well, hashtag Illuminati. Conversation closed. Meanwhile, The Elder Scrolls Online is getting some people excited. A new dawn is upon us. Never have our choices weighed more heavily. Michael Hill says, Holy shit, the game's so awesome it's brought Dumbledore back to life. At E3, we also saw Dragon Age Inquisition announced with a trailer. Bottle of Lightning wasn't impressed of the returning characters. They say, Is it just me, or are all the characters uglier than they originally were? To which Dark Braylin replies, Varric is only uglier because his chest is covered. Oh, whoa! Sounds like we interrupted a private moment there for Dark Braylin. Apologies, please enjoy these images. Nice. 
Nice. I have heard the name blog. We did uh, scrap the game Journalism game Robot, right? Scrap, left unguarded in the basement. What is inside the query message? All, all right, I'll go and deal with that. Um, just in case, what's the number for an auto strike? Uh, try director inquiries. Yeah, all right. All right, that's it for a show of the week, but don't be a stranger. Tweet us at OutsideXbox or head to facebook.com slash OutsideXbox. And over on YouTube, don't forget about the like and subscribe buttons or we'll set the newly recalibrated subscription compliance bot on you. See you next time. And we will see you next time. Jane? Yeah? Do you know what life is like? No, don't say it. Life? is like a hurricane.